couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn Under the Boardwalk, the classic drifter song. You're gonna love this arrangement. First, I'm gonna play for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down note by note, chord by chord, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. Without further ado, it goes like this. Enjoy! <laughs> So, uh, to get the first thing out of the way, I bet you're all wondering what's that cool trick I did where I played that high uh, C line down. Okay? It's harmonics. Okay, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's gonna take some practice, but it's gonna knock the socks off of anyone you play it for. Okay? They're gonna have no idea how you played those high notes. So, uh, don't tell them. Right, so uh, drop D. You need to tune the sixth string down to D, so you have okay, a low D bass. Okay, drop D, that's the tuning. And the intro is a tango-ish intro. Okay, so it's five on the sixth string, two on the fifth, open fourth, and then zero five on the sixth. And then they have nine on the sixth ring okay because you have the bell there so i'm using the net uh the um yeah the natural harmonic on uh seven on the e string the first string so i play nine and i use my finger for uh seven on the first one okay uh, to imitate that bell sound that goes off in the background And then they do the bass again. Okay, five on the sixth string, two on the fifth, open fourth, zero five on the sixth. And then you have the nine again on the sixth, no bell the second time around, and then the verse begins. It's this. Okay, it's the open fourth, zero hammer on to two on the third. Okay, and then. It's the open fourth string, the open D string, and then a hammer on to two on the third string. So, okay, so, okay, you can play the D string while the nine on the sixth string is still ringing. So, um, okay, and then you hammer on the two on the third string, and then you start. It's the open second string twice with five on the bass. But it's a G chord, so you can play strings two, three, and four. Okay, along with the five on the sixth. And then the third string. So, okay, that's the line. And then you do it again. But you play the second string three times instead of twice. Okay, with five on the sixth string, of course. This is a really nice uh, finger practice um, for using the little finger for the bass for five on the sixth string. Okay, so do it. Okay, use your fourth finger. Okay, and then you have. Okay, 
right? Mm -hmm. So after we do this. Play. Okay, the open second string, the open sixth, and two on the third. Okay, and then you have the guitar line. Now the sixth string, the low D bass is still ringing. Okay, and then okay, it's it's just 14, 12, and 10 on the first string, each note three times, and you can slide in between them, and then immediately you go to this. Okay, it's two on the third, the open second, and then it's D7. Okay, so it's one, one, one on the second string. You can harmonize with two and zero on strings three and four, and the open sixth string. So, okay, so. And then you do it again. Okay, but the last note is three on the second string, so it's one, one, three. And then. Okay, it's one zero on the second string and you can let go of the two as well. Okay, so and then it's five on the sixth string again, but with your first finger because then you play seven seven on strings four and three. Okay, so it's okay, and when you play that open second string, you can harmonize with the third. Okay, when you play the five on the sixth string, you don't bar. You you want to get a harmony out of this. So and then you put seven and seven on the fourth and third strings. Okay, and then you do G seven. Okay, so it's a bar on three, four on the third string, and five on the sixth string. Okay. Okay. So imagine you're putting on a G7 chord, just take the 5 from the 5th string to the 6th, okay? And you play strings um, 2, 3, 4, and 6, okay? Or just 3, 4, and 6. And then 3, 3, 3 on the E string, that's inside the chord, it's in the bar. Okay, so... And then you have the G7, 3, 3, 3 on the E string, and then... Okay, just a C chord, okay, with 0 on the E string, 3, 1 on the B string. And then you have the bass, okay, and the chord with 3, 3, 3 on the first string, and then the cool track. Okay, but, okay, you need to get exactly right. You need to find the position where if you put the, um, it's, it's on frets, uh, fret 24. Okay, it's an octave above the 12. Okay, so you need to find on your guitar where that is. Usually it's um, almost halfway above the, um, above the sound hole. It's um, between halfway to two thirds of the way from the bridge. So um, you need to find where that is. Okay, and you put the finger there you touch the string and pluck with your third finger, okay? And you, you get it. Now, I kinda train my hand to be on the right position, so I can get it right 90% of the time. So you have to practice that. So after you do this, okay? After you do it, if you do the three, three, three on the E string, you play, okay? You play the, Harmonic, the artificial harmonic on twenty. It's actually a natural harmonic because it's the open string. Okay, on twenty-four on the second string, you play five on the sixth string with your thumb picking it, and then you do the harmonic on twenty-four on the third string. This takes practice. Okay, so don't get discouraged if you don't uh, if you don't succeed. Okay, you will succeed. Okay, trust yourself. You can do it. So. Okay, and after you do this, okay, you have the yeah line, which is three pull off to zero on the second string, open third. So, okay, and you deserve a yeah for doing this, okay, and practice it, you will do it. And then, 
It's just the second string harmonized with the third. Da, 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 and then. Okay, three and two on strings two and three into a D chord, so you play the sixth string. Okay, so it's just G and D there. And then. Okay, three zero on the uh, second string, two, and then zero hammer on to two, zero on the third string, and you play the G bass again, five on the sixth string. Okay, you're still on D back to G. <sighs> okay, so that's the verse, right? So, and then D. Guitar line, and then D7, open, and then the sevens, G7, open, and then C, and then the cool line. You see, I almost, I barely got it. It wasn't the exact right place, but it was nearly right, so you still heard the notes, okay? And the harmonics, and then, yeah, because you deserve the yeah after you do it, and then, G, D, and then G again. Under the board, Okay, and then it's uh, strings five and four open three times, and then you bar two, and you play strings five, four, and six. So, and then, okay, it's three on the second string, zero, two, two on the E string, and then the open E string, and then, okay, it's two, two, one, zero, zero on strings five and four, and with the open strings, you can play the sixth string as well. Okay, and then, okay, it's just 3-3 three, three on the second string, open E string, 3 on the B string, you can do it three times, and then, okay, same thing, 0-1-2 this time, on the bass strings, and then, okay, it's 2 slide to 1, and then 2 again, then you have a guitar line, okay, so it's 0, 2 on the 3rd string, and then you slide it to 4, and then 3 on the 2nd string, and then you do it backwards. Okay, 4 slide to 2 on the 3rd, open 3rd, and then you do the intro again, which is... Uh, uh, I forgot to do that. Okay, so... Okay, so... Okay, just... Yeah, it's just that uh, that the, that power chord move there on the bass notes. So the tabs are for free. Download it from the website. The link is below in the description. And uh, check out my complete guitar freedom course series while you're there. Um, and uh, when you open that description to go download the tab, you'll see a Patreon link as well. So um, if you want to help me make more of these lessons, I'd be more than grateful for any uh, donation you choose to make, any pledge. Everything goes right back to looking after making you your next arrangement lessons and lessons, guitar lessons uh, in general. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.